Hello everyone, welcome back again. My name is Jesse and in this wonderful video, we'll be trying to see how to work with a very simple CLI called Temipad. So how do we work with it? The Temipad simply is a very simple note-taking CLI, right? Written in Python. So let's see what I mean by that. So it's a simple note-taking CLI. So these are the various features. You can add notes, you can delete notes, edit notes, search, show all, view notes, and there are several things that will be added to, together as time goes on. So let's see some of the things we can do. So in case I want to see how to take notes, I can just go with add notes, right? And if, I, if I don't know how, first I just go with help, then it's going to give me how to do that. So I'm just going to go with Python, tell me notes, add notes, the name, write my name, then the title of the notes that I want to give, and then the message. So let's see. It's going to be Python, tell me part, add notes, then my title, Right, I can be my title, but let's go first of all with author. That is me. Let's make it Jake Harris. And then let's go on to the title, which is say cool to right. Then the message. Here is the message I'm going to give. Don't forget to be like this message. And I can put in any message there. So this is so simple. Perfect. So now it has said there, so it told me that this I'm the author, here's a title, and here's a message. It's going to give us a summary of the entire stuff. So I have 17 letters here. Very interesting. Now it has been saved to database. In case I want to view it, I can just view it. Here's one method of adding notes. Another method is that you can also do it iteratively by doing it Python. Add a uh, Python term part. Then if I go with add notes. Right, straight like that, it's going to give me a prompt, right? Without adding something, it's going to give me a prompt. I can just enter my name as JLJ, just like Jesus. Then my title can be another way. Then the message can be this is something different. Right, so this, if you don't add it, to it perfect. So that's another method of working with. So I, you can then I can go with this particular method, right? Or I can go with the interactive mode like this. Or even if I have a, if I have a config file, I can also do that. So let's see what I mean. So let's let me cut this my config file. So this is my config file, right? My YAML file, right? So we have a YAML file. I have the name, the author, I have a title there, I have a message there, right? So in case I want to store it like that, I can also do that the same way. So let's see how it's going to be. So I can just go straight away with this. Add notes, right? And I just go with config. And I'll pass in my notes. So let's call it my notes. That's all, right? So there are several ways you can do that. Perfect. So it has added it to reading from Palm. Very interesting. So in case I want to see all that I have stored on it, I can just go with Python template. Then I'll just go straight away to show all. So these are all the nodes that have been stored inside it. So the author, the title, and then a message. Right? So these are all the nodes I've stored there. So in case I want to pick a particular one, so let's say I want to pick a particular one, you can search for it. So let's try that one. So it's going to be, you have the search option, right? You can just go with search help, going to show you how to do that. So the search, then the particular thing that you want to search, then the particular row or column you want to search for. So let's see how to do that. So let's say I want to search for GLJ, right? GLJ. So how do I do that? So I can search by title, I can search by author. So let's try that one. It's going to be like this. That's really length. So let's go. I want to search for GLJ. Then search by can be search by let's say title right so search for GLG it couldn't find it right so it's not found there so in case I want to search for author because it's found in author perfect so it has a name to reach it from me GLG another way right this is something different so in case I want to even search for something from here right I can actually do that so let's try that one so instead of searching for let's search for this then if I want to search by a message, it's going to search for me. 
all of them so this is see that this is found in most of them so let's use the word simple there so i can just go with simple perfect right so it was able to look through the message option this is so simple simple to use right so that is what we bought there that is what so that is something interesting about Tenipa. Right. So now let's see some other stuff. So in case I want to edit something, right? I want to edit a part of it. Let's say I want to edit cool to to maybe C U A L. Right. So let's see how it will be done. So we're just going to go with Tenipa. Instead of show, I can just go with edit notes. Then just go with the help. It's going to give us how to do that. So how do we do that? I want to edit cool to to C U U L. Right. So it has given us the option. So Python tell me about edit, edit mode, the particular thread I want to edit, then the particular old name, right? That old, then a new stuff I want to do there. So let's see how to do that. It's going to be edit mode. Then I want to edit the word title. The old word that was there is cool. Two, and then a new way that is there is cool two right so perfect so perfect so that now it's going to give us the previous one which was cool two right updated so it's going to tell me that so editing failed title with cool two and updating to cool two right so this is the previous we had cool two then this is the current code perfect so that means that it's a very simple tool to use very easy and add more features to it so check the links to see how it works and then to have access to it thank you